one in Old Town, built right here. Right here, out of all the scrap. So I think boss went together. I want it to be big. I want it to be grand. I want it to have all the boys. And I want it to be huge. Yeah, no problem boss, we can do that. Okay, so I'm putting together a Nork Town, so these are the models, it's from the Kill, Tome, uh, Kill Team Octarius set. Take them out into the garage, first thing I'm going to do is spray paint them a black, so give them all a black undercoat. Now I just use a standard old black primer, I don't worry about using anything expensive on this, just make sure you get everything done. Next part, get some lead belcher spray and just hit it every bits and pieces here and there just to do a general. Don't try and do the whole thing metal. Uh, leave some of the black. Then it's off to my painting area and grab a whole assortment of colours. Uh, use a mixture of contrast, layers, bases, washers, just anything really. I like to have a common type of palette. When it comes to the orcs, always some reds, always some metals, uh, some yellows, just something that makes it stand out. And then once I've selected all that, it's onto the painting table itself. And as you can see, I just really couldn't decide on a lot of the colors. But once I did, to the painting table, drop my paints into my holder, get an idea of what I want to use and in which parts. Brushes are ready to go. My vortex mixture is ready and I need my second pair of eyes so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, may not have been three days but here's the orc buildings all painted up using a mixture of all the different colors and washes. And look, uh, this is all, everything all painted up with the scrap piles and everything and it looks good at this point But I wanted to extend myself. I wanted to try and use some weathering powder. Never used this stuff before So I got some weathering powder um, Dark rust and light rust. So I took it back out in the garage because I knew it was going to make a mess uh, Interestingly, I read the side of it and it said that it's actually silica dust so um, if you're going to be using this stuff Try not to inhale it because it can cause cancer. Have a, uh, a mask handy. So with that, I've dragged out some of the dark rush rust, which I'm going to use around the bottom. You can see it's a fine powder. Get an old brush into there, something that I don't normally use for cleaning. Get it on the brush and then pick it up and go to the model. So here's the result of using the dark rust across the bottom of the model. As you can see, it gives a nice rusty color. And then I use the light rust in the top. I probably went a little too heavy in some parts, but it doesn't look so bad. Once I did all that, it's a good idea to use some spray lacquer to actually um, seal in the weathering powder. Otherwise, every time you touch it, it's gonna come off in your hands. Even though it's self-adhesive powder, a powder, it won't actually stick. So give it a good liberal spray of, uh, of lacquer. Make sure that when you're doing this, of course, it's in a good humidity environment, otherwise you're going to get some problems. And looking at this, this is the amount of weathering powder that actually didn't get used and ended up on the floor. Oi, boss, here's the town. What do you think? Oh, it looks good enough to beat up some humans in. Oh yeah, jobs are good, on. Well done.